<laughs> crazy bag lady. I bet you're all sick of the sight of me. So, here I am again. So, it's Tuesday today. Mm, a little bit gloomy, not as nice as yesterday. But fingers crossed that the sun comes out soon. So, Tuesday. Just done my makeup. So, many thanks for all your lovely comments on my little Avon video yesterday. I'm so glad that you enjoyed it. My little Avon favourites. I love them so much. Right, Peggy. Are you ready to face Tuesday? Mm, I think I am. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all going to have a wonderful, wonderful day. Let's have a look at calendars of the day. Let's go. Let's see what it is. Okay, right. Tuesday. Dun, 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 dun. Tuesday. Beneath the harvest moon. Oh, sometimes you just have to take a minute to appreciate the lovely things in nature, I think. So let's all have a look at the moon later. But first, we've got to get through Tuesday. So happy Tuesday, everybody. Right, breakfast this morning. So I've got chopped banana, two wheat fix, and a poorly thumb. Don't laugh. It's only my nail. I know it's only my nail, but it was throbbing so much last night. And I'm so scared of banging it. So I've wrapped it up. Look at me. It looks so funny. Um, I can't believe how much you use your thumb when you can't use it. So I've had to do my hair one-handed, my other hand. So I've got the worst messy bun you've ever seen. Um, and I struggle to even fasten my trousers up. So I'm not going to fasten my belt up till I go out. <laughs> it's just easier. It's all right for you. You've still got your feet. Right, boring jobs. So very difficult to try and do boring jobs without getting your thumb wet. Ooh, this thumb's going to cause me serious problems today. Right, so we've got to fill the washing up bowl, empty the dishwasher, and then I've got to get my dogs ready because Florence and Winnie are at the dog groomers this morning. I've got parcels to drop off, um, another parcel to drop off at a shop, or it's only one of those days today, but hopefully while the dogs are at the dog groomers, we might be able to go into our shop. Not sure if I'll be able to try anything on because I can't undo my blooming trousers, but I'm sure we'll manage. We've been like this once before in life, I think. So, um, anyway, so let's get these jobs out of the way and then we need to hurry up and get the dogs ready. Here I am with my messy bun. <laughs> I've pinned it up the best that I could. So, lipstick of the day today is an Avon Power Stay lip colour in Barely Bait. I think on camera it looks a lot darker than it is. It's really, really not this dark in real life. It's so lovely. It's such a lovely nude colour, really nice for sort of autumn, winter, you know, nice sort of depth. Like that nice warm nudie colour, if that makes sense. So lipstick of the day, barely baked. And the time is nearly 10 o'clock, so we need to get going very soon. Right, we're finally ready to go. So I put Dolly to bed. Uh, got my bum bag again. I love this bag so much. Uh, little trousers, boots, little fluffy jumper, my little brooch. I think I'm gonna be all right with that coat. I think it's quite mild outside. Plus we're only going to try shot in the post office while we wait for the dog. So I think we'll be okay. Right, let's go to the groomers. Come on then ladies. Come on. Florence, where are you going? Florence, come back. It's not that bad. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Aww. Little dog is all dropped off. I always feel so sorry for Florence because she really doesn't like going anywhere and she shakes and she looks all sad. Bless her. So hopefully we won't be too long. So let's go and do our job now. I'm 
Back in the car, well, it's so sunny, you can't see me, so I'm back in the car. My little dogs are ready, they've only been an hour, so she must have been on superwash today. Let's go get them. Right, we've made it home, but I think I'm just going to take them for a quick walk around the block. So if I take these two first, and then we'll come back and then we'll quickly take Dolly. Right, ready ladies, we'll go for a quick walk. so windy oh that blew me away right so it's now five to one i think we deserve some dinner it's dinner time oh we've got some lovely music on so for dinner sake i've got some leftover pasta some ham and um, some little tomatoes and we've got a little bit of low fat mayonnaise on it i'm just doing some boiled eggs and my chicken chow grills for tea because i think i've got to go and fetch ruby from school today because she's had cooking and pee she's got so much to carry she was like please we can fetch me so i think unless my husband can go we've got to fetch ruby after bob so i'm trying to do my food and my tea preparation early hmm. and somebody else is sat in your bed <laughs> darling what's happened why is she in your bed is she naughty Say, so get out my bed. She's naughty, isn't she? Well, she's still in there. Dolly's looking at me to say, get her out my bed. <laughs> she's naughty. 
<laughs> and then no one was in the bed. Nobody. No one's in the bed now. <laughs> well, Florence just can't get up for this bed. <laughs> She's getting in and out. I've not put her in there. She's put herself in there. Look how snooty she is. She's like, I know I'm not supposed to be in here, but I'm staying. Where's little Dolly? Dolly, it's a tiny bed. I feel so sorry for you. <laughs> You could get in bed with her, but she'd probably try and bite you. <laughs> Poor Donnie. You made a little snooze, don't you? Hey. There's Florence naughty. <laughs> Aww, the little postman's knocked on my door and he's leaving. Bless him. So, could be the last time we ever see him, which is really weird, isn't it? You know, we've seen somebody quite a lot for quite a few years. It's very sad. He's been a very good postman and we will miss him. Bless him. So, on to the new postman, whoever that may be. Right, what did we buy this morning? So, we've got this cute little bag for Ruby. Ruby loves these little like miniature rucksacks when she plays out with her friends. So we did get her a Vans one for her birthday and unbelievably, it fell apart. So the straps fell off here. So we've actually had to return it and exchange it for a different one. So she's put her off it a bit, which I'm really surprised because Vans is normally quite good, but it the straps literally fell apart. So I managed to get her a fluffy one this morning, which is, I think it's a new look one. But they're brilliant for playing out. They keep all the stuff safe and I'm hoping that she'll like it. If not, you can get your money back from that charity shop, which is really good. I got these joggers. When I first tried them on, I thought, oh no, I don't like them because they're really tight on the legs. But then when I put them on with my shoes or my little boots, I thought, mm, actually, they're quite cool rather than being really big and baggy. And they're really, really warm. And they were literally £2.50. <laughs> You can't go wrong, can you? And I thought with a nice chunky jumper and stuff, they'll probably work when it's really cold. So they'll be perfect when I'm in the house feeling chilly. I got this purely because it looks very much like a Burberry scarf. It is not a Burberry scarf, but it is so, so similar. Um, it is fastened together, so I've got to get the scissors and cut it. But it's just really nice and really soft. And I thought, again, it would match the joggers. You could make a real like autumn outfit out of it. it would work really well really well um and i think that was it yeah that was it but i enjoyed it it was lovely to have a good rummage ah, so tea preparation done but i haven't got to fetch ruby my husband's finished a little bit earlier so he's gone to fetch her so i can get on with my other job so i'm now doing some one-handed um washing so i'm trying to wash my dog coat so i'm trying to do it one-handed so i don't wet my thumb and then i need to do some I don't want to do that. <laughs> but if I don't, it's not going to go away. Oh, ironing done. Yay! Thank goodness for that. Oh, right, so while I've been ironing, I've not had any needs of cotton. I was on the phone to my mum for a little bit. She's off to the pictures tonight to watch Mrs. Harris goes to Paris. Oh, she's so lucky. Uh, we're hoping to go next week to watch it. I definitely want to watch it. So I've not had no music on, so I've been listening out for my rodents. I don't think I've heard anything. But having a rodent in your house makes you feel terrible. I don't keep going on about it because you don't want to hear about it all the time. But I just wanted to let you know that it's still here or we think it's still here. It's so horrible. And because it's windy, I can't tell if it's like rodent noise or wind noise. It's horrible. Oh. So we're now waiting for Ruby to come home from school with my hubby. Are you okay there, Winifred? <laughs> she loves these beds. Look at her. Like a little round donut. Aren't you cute? And Florence is just living her best retirement. Aren't you, my dear? Are you okay? I can't believe you'll be 10 in November. You're fabulous, aren't right, you? Right, I'm just looking at my thumb. So I've took my bandage off to have a look at it. Oh, and it's pouring with rain outside as well. So if you're squeamish, look away now because I'm going to show you my poor little thumb. Dun, 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 dun. So it's been bleeding a little bit. It's all like horrible and bruised. No, my husband's not going to squeeze it. Go away. Um, It's just not nice. Anyway, let's move it away. It's gone, you can look. If you scream you can look again now. So that's my poor thumb. So the bloodness has gone away. Bloodness, that's not even a word, but that's gone away. Mm -hmm. uh, but now it's like puffy and throbby and horrible. So I think I need to bandage it back up Ooh, again. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it's about time for tea. 
So for tea tonight, I've got a chicken wrap, which I've already made. So I've literally got to put it in the oven for about five minutes to melt the cheese and and like make it all lovely. So five more minutes, my tea will be ready. Right, ladies and gentlemen, TV dinner. So for dinner tonight, we've got my chicken wrap, lots of salad, boiled egg, and this little thing that Ruby's made. It's like a little cheese pasty thing. I've only had like a small bit of it, but she made it a school blesser. So I'm going to enjoy it. And of course, all my friends are with me. Ooh, 10 to 7. It looks like it's light outside. It's actually not. It is dark. That's why all my solar lights and stuff are working. It's not nice out there now. Can you spot the dog? <laughs> Surrounded by all the floof there she is. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> but from a distance you can't really see her. It's really funny. Mm, the time has come. For a huge, massive lavender ear on bubble bath, my favourite flavour ever. Lavender blossom and musk scent. So it's not just lavender, it's got musk in it as well, which makes it smell absolutely delicious. This is my favourite bubble bath ever. I've tried really expensive bubble baths. I've had all sorts of bubble baths over the years. And I always come back to this and the lavender one. Oh, so relaxing, so nice. Look at it, and it's what is it, two pounds something? It's not much, and you get absolutely loads in it, so you can have a really, really big, ginormous bubble bath. Absolutely adorable. Oh, honestly, I could stand here and talk about it all day. Look at the size of the bubbles, you won't find better for two pounds something. Ah, little fluff, what are you doing? Oh, bye then. <laughs> fluff, where are you going? Little Smitty. What are you doing, sweetheart? I'm waiting for my bath to run. Oh, have you had a nice day? You're at the groomers next week, aren't you? Oh, it's nearly ready. So it is. I'm going to love you and leave you because it's getting late and I'm off to enjoy this lovely, lovely bubble bath. So many, many thanks for joining me again today. I hope I've not moaned too much about my little thumb, but it does really, really hurt. So thank you for all your lovely messages. So if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My dogs have got their own Instagram, which is Sweet Fluffles. My website is down below. And my little Avon shop is also down below. So I love you and leave you. Please stay warm, stay safe, and we'll see you tomorrow.